everyone, today we're gonna be building a duck shaped house. I wanna recreate the most classic looking duck. I want it to be yellow just like this one. See, I don't know where to start. Do I start with the body? <gasps> Wait, what if we enter the duck house from the beak? I'm making it really sloppy, but it's just to kind of visualize what we're gonna do. Would our door be right here? And then we just have like a super long path. I haven't really like messed around with long paths to the door. So that could actually be fun. I'm willing to do it. Oh, I don't know if this is looking stupid. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is not a bad start. I think the only only way we'll know if this is good enough is if we add the roof and try to recolor it. Like it looks like a duck, it does, but it's not good enough. We need to keep improving on this. New idea, what if we try to replicate this in Bloxburg? Cause look at it. There's no like curved blocks over here. It's just a bunch of squares. I feel like this is working out a little bit better. I mean, okay, it looks weird, it does. How did I manage to make this look different? What? I don't know what I messed up. Something's wrong over here. That looks a little bit better. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a flat roof. We're gonna color in those parts of the pixel. So we're gonna do the yellow, orange, and black. Maybe I should raise it up like a smidge. I'm actually getting so excited. We're gonna color it daisy orange. Now we're gonna grab another flat roof. We're gonna outline the beak. We're gonna raise this roof up a little bit higher than the rest of this one so it doesn't like glitch out and go crazy. Now we're gonna color this one deep orange. I did not expect this to look so good. And now we're gonna try to do the eye. That's gonna be the eye. Wait, I'm so excited. I did it. Okay, I mean, I did have a lot of help. <laughs> from online, I did. This is not like made from my own brain. I looked online, I'm not that creative. <laughs> Should we do the little wing as well? I think we're gonna do it, why not? In that art photo we were looking at, the beak looks like super orange. Maybe this is better. What do you guys prefer? Do you prefer this beak or this one? So that's gonna be our duck and now we're gonna move on over here. For a lot of these recent shape houses where we do like animals, I haven't made it modern. And I think it would be a little fun twist if we did go a little bit modern. I am still gonna put pillars in the corners of the house. A bit ago, I I was saying that the duck beak would be like in this area and that's where our door would be but we obviously kind of changed what we're gonna do and I don't think a door can really fit here however a door can fit right here I want a tall fancy door is our roof gonna be showing through the door like this because I'm not happy with that also hold up why am I seeing things right here I see yellow I don't like that for anybody wondering how I do my porches I do it using the flat roof and the basement's game pass I'm gonna clip the porch through our interior to the the exterior. It's just my own preference lately that I've been doing. Now, what kind of windows do we wanna go for? The modern window. Oh no, but look at it. The roof, again, don't do that. I'm also gonna grab the modern square window for variety. Where's our backyard gonna be? Cause we do need to think about a backyard. Do we do it over here? Wait, you enter the house from here and then you get to the backyard from here. I'm gonna grab a floor and I'm gonna try to create the pathway. That's not the best. It could be better. I think I did it. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna grab a plain shirt fence and I'm gonna recolor this to be black and we're gonna wrap it around our pathway. We still haven't decided on a color for the exterior, so it looks a little weird. What do we think about making it yellow? I don't think it's the vibe. I don't think that's what we should do. How do I make it blend better? Possibly use a plain short fence up here. Minor stone wall. What do we think of this one? Oh, it's gonna create an outline for the duck. Oh, I like this one. Okay, we're gonna use this one. This is so cool because it literally is outlining the duck. Like if we zoom out, you can kind of see it. I feel like it's also a nice way to separate the top of the duck from the rest of the house. I mean, okay, listen, you do still see like the yellow over here, but it does help a bit. I'm still not vibing with the yellow. Wait, it looks so much better if you recolor this part of the roof to be black. Look at that. It's like a cartoon look. I feel like I've got way too many ideas in my head. Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? Now we need to make this look natural because it looks really weird. I'm gonna leave the exterior like this because I wanna kind of leave the rest of it for last, like adding the plants and whatnot. So we're gonna come up with a floor plan. Entryway, living room, hallway, bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, dining area, backyard, and I don't know what's gonna be here. In some of these areas, like this one, I added glass windows all around. I just added a plant in the middle. I also colored the pot of it yellow because like I said, we need to find ways to add a lot of yellow in this build. For the floor, I'm kind of in a dilemma. I really like these wooden planks, but I also really like these wooden tiles. I'm just trying to see which one is a really good vibe. I know that some people don't like these ones, but I think they look kind of nice. I feel that these planks aren't really giving too much modern and these ones are. The decision has been made. It's gonna be the wooden tiles. I'm gonna start off with the entryway. I definitely wanna put a painting like first thing. I'm also gonna grab an industrial bench. I wanna make sure to put like a fair amount of stuff. Maybe a hat stand as well. I don't know how to feel about the yellows, but I'm really trying. <laughs> this bench is not that big, so I think we can only fit like two pairs of slippers. I wanna put more things, but there's not a lot of space in our entryway. Should I put like flowers like this? Now that I think about it, we should actually use a bunch of these sunflowers because of how like yellow orange they are. Maybe I can just pop them into this glass phase. I wanna add like a table so we can put our car keys, but there's no table, there's no space for 
for it, I think. Maybe I'm just gonna use like this end table. I love putting a piece of paper right at the entryway because I'm imagining like they had mail and they just put it here. And of course, let's not forget the welcome carpet. I'm gonna make it orange, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> this is our entryway so far and now we're gonna move on into the living room. We need a comfy couch, the comfiest of comfiest couches and we need it to be fancy. Look at this one, it's so yellow, but I don't know if it's gonna fit because it's a very large couch. I like it, but it just doesn't work. I do wanna like copy the color scheme of this though. It looks pretty good. Wait, let's try the sophisticated sofa. This is gonna be way too close to the TV. I mean, I don't care too much, but it is still like really bad for your eyes. This actually looks so good. I think this is my favorite coffee table. See, it still feels a little empty. I feel like we need to put shelving or something at the top. What if I do the wedge floating shelf? The oak shelf, it's just not gonna work anywhere near as well as this wedge one would. This is actually such a nice design. I like the little wedges. Can I put them? <gasps> I can put them over here as well. Oh no, but we have our curved openings. So no, we cannot. No, there's nowhere else to put them. I'm so sad. Maybe in the bathroom? Wait, actually, yeah, we can kind of put it in the bathroom over here. I know we're not working on the bathroom right now, but I just really wanted to place them somewhere because they look really cool. The only issue about this little wedge shelving is that it's kind of hard to place things here. Like, I think I can only place items that are kind of sideways like this, but that just looks like tiny. I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't look nice. I also tried to put this wooden storage cube and it did not look good. Like I tried resizing it because look at it. I just feel like it doesn't look that good on top of this wedge. It just doesn't. I'm kind of struggling to put things here. I think it's only suitable for maybe like succulents. I think this is pretty good for the living room. Like we have the wedges in the corners and then we have our couch, our coffee table and our TV. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but we're gonna move on into the bedroom. First thing we're gonna place is the bed because I don't think a double bed can fit. Oh. Wait, it kind of can. I mean, it does fit a little bit, but maybe not comfortably. We're gonna use a single bed instead. I mean, a desk could fit really well here. Did you guys know that there's literally this type of computer available? This is a crazy setup. I don't have a setup like this. I don't have three monitors. I do have two monitors. I have two monitors, but I don't have three monitors like this. Like, this is crazy. No, I just realized I nearly forgot the wall trim. I know that this is like a duck-shaped house, but I think I'd live here anyways. This seems fun to live in a duck house. I'm also tempted to put another wall trim at the top and color it black so it blends with this thing that's going on just to make it look better. Am I about to recolor every single wall trim I placed and make it black? Yep, the sticky notes are yellow. We can pretend that this ceramic bird is actually a duck. I have just realized that we do not have a dresser or a wardrobe anywhere. It might be impossible to fit one. Oh, I mean, I could fit it next to the desk. What about this wardrobe? Look at that. I know it's a kid's wardrobe, but it's still a wardrobe. Maybe I'm gonna delete this and I'll just try to squeeze a, <gasps> squeeze a wardrobe right here. Yep. Okay, we figured it out. Every time you wanna open your wardrobe, you're gonna have to move your chair, but you still have a wardrobe and that's what matters. Plus, you can also put a potted hanging vine at the top of the wardrobe. This is the bedroom so far, and now we're gonna move on into the kitchen. I added these geometric lights up here where the squares are. I feel like it looks pretty cool. I also did the same thing over here in the living room, as you can see. I don't know, I feel like it's a good way to use up these weird squares, make it look like we did it on purpose. Our fridge is gonna go here. Our sink is gonna be below this one. Our microwave is gonna be in here. Our stove is gonna be over here. Is that stupid? <laughs> oh no, it's clipping with the light. No, that makes me so sad. I decided I'm gonna put this ladder here. It's not really gonna be used as a ladder. It's just for style. I think I'm gonna do it over here as well, just so it feels like a smoother transition from counter to no counter. Now, all we gotta do is put our appliances in place. Icebox fridge, basic stove, dishwasher, no, no, no. toaster, coffee maker, blender. I think I'm gonna make everything with towel because that's kind of the style we have throughout the house. For the countertop, I'm gonna make it marble. I'm kind of realizing that our dining area would fit just fine right here. And we don't have to dedicate this whole thing to being a dining area. My floor plan is no good. <laughs> like our living room could have been all this. Maybe I just forgot how to make floor plans. I'll just make this another bedroom. I really, really wanna put a pizza box. There we go. And now we're moving on to this, I don't know area. I think what I'm gonna start off by doing is adding a traditional bookshelf in this corner. We have a lot of space. Can a piano fit here? <gasps> it can! Wait, I can actually put a piano. I wanna put the fine piano because it got gold on it. This looks so good. I can't believe we actually managed to fit a piano in the middle. Every time I have like a big space like this, everybody was always telling me, put a piano, put a piano. Finally, I've been able to put a piano, although it is kind of hard to enter the room. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this bed and I'm gonna copy paste a few things from our first bedroom into this bedroom. This bedroom kind of small. I put this wardrobe here and I do feel a bit iffy about it because I mean, if you look at it from here, you just see the wardrobe. Like I don't like it when furniture is placed in front of windows but I think what I'm gonna do is put like a big plant here to cover that up. Oh, that's awkward. You can kind of see into the bathroom. I gotta put curtains. I put the blinds up here, so you just roll them down if you want some privacy. Since we've been using a lot of industrial stuff, I will use the industrial sink. And here's our toilet. 
toilets. Actually, you know what? I want a more geometric toilet. I want this one. I'm kind of tempted to use this roundish shower. Maybe put it in this corner. Somebody might be able to see you on the toilet if you do not close these blinds. You will regret not closing those blinds. I was thinking for these areas with the windows, they look really empty. So what we could do is just grab a ladder shelf. We can just place it here. Just using yellow everything. But the toilet paper, I'm not gonna color that yellow because that's just gonna look kind of nasty. This is what our bathroom looks like. Finally, we can move on to our backyard and actually also the rest of the exterior. Yeah, I know this doesn't look like a door, but it is a door as you can see. Sleek pivoting glass door. Oh yeah, so like I said, I wanted to put something here and I think I'm deciding that I'm gonna put this rough cypress tree. I'm gonna resize it though. I'm gonna make it a little shorter because I don't want it to be clipping through. That looks pretty good. That literally covers it up. You gotta use so many sunflowers because I mean, they're yellow. I love this bird bath so much. It's so adorable. We need everything to be yellow. <laughs> That's our backyard. The final part is this because I, I truly did not know what to do here. So yeah, I decided I'm gonna recolor these pillars back to black because they don't really look good as yellow. But what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna add like a bunch of trees and plants. <laughs> it actually looks pretty cool. Okay, now let's get our sunflowers. We're gonna spam them. I know, like a big part of me wants like more variety flowers, but another part of me is like, no, it's a duck house, it's yellow. It needs to be the same color. We need to make it all yellow. As a final thing, I am extremely tempted to put a bunch of pillars. Should we? Is there maybe another fence that we could use instead. Yeah, like this is an option actually. It feels a little bit like jail. It looks seriously nice. Definitely feels like a zoo. The total house value is 143,000 and this is our exterior. It's a duck house and it actually turned out kind of cool. We used like a pixelated drawing to come up with the design and it worked out so well. I'm so proud of it. This pathway leading up to the house is different from all the other ones I usually do. And I mean, to be fair, I do make it a little different every single video. At least I try to. It's just, it's interesting. It's interesting to mess around with all the different ways you can just like get inside your house. <laughs> this is our entryway. And yeah, I did try to lean into a lot of yellows. Like that's the whole point of this house. And moving on, we're in this hallway. If we take the left, we reach the very tight living room. <laughs> it might cause you some eye issues because you're so close to the TV. And then over here is the first bedroom. Lots of yellows. You got your desk, you got Polaroid photos. Wait, what is that? What is that? Oh, that's a ladder. If we move on from the hallway, we enter our kitchen. I did change the floor plan for the kitchen. I added the dining area here because it just, it was so perfect. Like I had to fit it here. So yeah, the floor plan is not what it was at the beginning. And then we had this sort of, I don't know, area over here as well. This is where we decided to put a piano, which I don't think I put a piano in my builds yet. I think this was the first time. In every empty spot, I tried to put like bookcases and fill up the space with a little bit of yellow. And I put this little ducky bird. It's a bird, but I call it a duck. If we take a right, we enter the bathroom. This is a nice bathroom. It's nice, it's simple. I like this mirror and I want to use it more. It's just a nice modern bathroom. Lastly is the second bedroom, which is not in the initial floor plan. I put the industrial bench over here as well, just to like fill up the space. Here is our glass pivoting door. I believe that's what it's called. Good thing I left a bunch of space. Look at how wide this door is. Can I fit through here? No. This is our backyard. It's a pretty small backyard, but I do like it. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Love you guys so much. Bye.